Alrighty. <clears throat> what is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, it was against a clan we faced uh, a few times in the past, actually. I Brigante, this um, very cool Italian clan. Uh, you know, they're not. You know, they. Uh, I don't want to disrespect them in any way because uh, they have made huge improvements since the first time we met uh, quite a quite quite a long time ago. Um, they are a more casual war clan, right? They do war constantly, um, so don't get me wrong when I say that. But uh, you know, there there's just a fine line of difference uh, sometimes between. Um, between a hardcore war clan and more of a casual war clan. Um, but Brigante has really, really made some improvements to the point where we really, really, really uh, had some struggles this war, actually. Let's uh, quickly check out these 75 of 80 attacks. They did miss a few of their attacks. Um, but uh, cleaned up a fair amount of the nines, you know. So they overall did a, did a pretty good job on us. Uh, and more so in their base building because... Uh, da -da. let's check it out. We did have a couple TH10 triples in there, um, but boom, we left one, two, three, four, four nines on the board, which is very, very uh, uncharacteristic, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of it I'm going to credit to uh, the improved base design for Ibrigante. So keep it up over there, you Italian stallions. Um, you know, uh, seeing a lot more three stars coming from you guys, 105 to 91, even though the score is a fairly large margin, that still uh, is a very good effort overall from you guys over there. So uh, keep it up, Brigante. You guys are improving each time I see you. That is fantastic. Uh, and some of the boys had some amazing hits in here. I really uh, have a few nice replays in there. Obviously, going to take check out these TH10 triples by the boys. Uh, let's just jump right in and check this out. Uh, start down at the bottom. Number 36. Good old click clack. For those of you that follow One Hive 2.0, you might not have seen this gentleman for quite some time now. Click clack is back in action, and he is going to bring us a very, very old school attack. This is old school 2.0 recap right here. Click clack bringing a stone go ho to the scene. Uh, so first two golems are in, he's conserving that third one for uh, when the entry happens here. Wall breakers in and successful. Walls open. There goes that third golem. Queen's in there kind of doing some mop-up work. Funnel's getting created very, very frantically and quickly by these wizards. They step up, do a little bit of work here. Two golems go right in. That other golem kind of just hangs out there, does some tanking for these wiz while they take out those trash buildings. Rage goes down. Going to push everything into this core. <clears throat> Gives that king that little extra boost he needs. Defensive king goes down. Queen gets in under the rage now. Start just ripping through these defenses. Out comes the clan castle. It's a dragon, two loons. Poison goes down. Take care of that. <clears throat> King's in there smacking down that defensive queen. Down she goes. One DGB is now triggered by that golem. So absolutely perfect. In come the hogs from the uh, 730 position here. <clears throat> few on each defense. It's going to push everything in. A counterclockwise rotation. He's just dropping hogs everywhere on all these defenses all around the base. Everything's looking good. Has two heals still in the bag that he probably doesn't even need at this point. Because if you check out what is left defense-wise, <laughs> really doesn't need either of these heals. Bam, bam, bam. Just got to get these hogs in on that Tesla. Mortar goes down. Tesla goes down. That's right. Two swag heals in that dragon. Finally just died now. <laughs> what a crazy raid. <laughs> Dragon survives right to the end. Double swag heal to go. Click clack the beast. Welcome back, my friend. Good to have you. Mm -mm -mm. Awesome. So moving up a little bit here. It's nice. I had actually had a six pack this war. It's been a long time since I had a six pack. Far too long. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of my planning and uh, my clash game overall when I got that new job a few months back really suffered for a bit. So I'm kind of back on track now with my time and uh, starting to show I'm getting uh, get more tree stars lately, which is awesome. Let's check out Chatty Bobaddy's hit on 24 here. Really like this one. So check out the army comp. Got the two golems, four Valkyries. Uh, so fairly hefty kill squad, um, but still has... a uh, the lava hounds and 14 balloons in the bag so what chad's going to recognize here is from this entry he's going to jump right into the middle here get all three of those air defense get the defensive queen get the cc if you're going to get that much value out of a kill squad 
Having two Lava Hounds, 14 balloons for only one air defense in a smaller section of the base is very, very pretty. So that's exactly what happens here. Chag rolling in, sorry, stone entry. My bad. I thought it was two Lava Hounds for, uh, for some reason. <clears throat> so three Golems are in there. Four Valkyries are about to go in right behind. Here they go. Anytime. In goes the King. In goes the four Valkyries. So insane kill squad here, right? Because he's got three golems in there. Earthquake goes down, opening all this action up. Just going to allow the Valks to get in there, the golems to get in there. His queen's going to just stand behind everything and just mop stuff up. Drops a very quick balloon on this. Take out that Tesla. I thought that was kind of neat. <clears throat> there is another Tesla that doesn't pop over on this side, but no big deal. So air defense, one and two are down. Number three is about to go down. King is in there whacking away on that expo. So he goes ahead, sends in that Lava Hound, wants to get it in kind of nice and early, really wants it to burst. Notices that his heroes are right in there and are about to lock onto that air defense even before the balloons get there. So he uh, uses the Queen ability, knocks down that air defense. There's a sliver of health on that Lava Hound, just perfect timing. So the Hound bursts, gets those pups going, loons in on every defense. There's that Tesla I was talking about. Uh, has one or sorry drops a couple balloons on this arch tower. I would probably would have dropped just all three down here to finish off this area But no big deal. Chad's got it in the bag here. Clearly There goes that last balloon I was talking about does take out the Tesla, but it gets fried eventually There goes the Tesla. So really there's only a mortar and a whiz tower left at this point. We've got clean up all over the base Very very sexy hits chatty Who would think to bring stone entry with four valves and still bring a back end lava and loon it's just just fantastic mm -mm -mm. so what else we got here 22 good old kb just brings a little bit of a this queen walk uh shattered goho so minions go down, start creating that funnel. He's going to drop the queen. There she goes. Uh, right on this dark uh, dark barracks. She's going to walk in, take out all of this stuff, end up getting the defensive queen, and continue her walk around down to the 3 o'clock location. <clears throat> so things just go splendidly here for kickbacks because she's uh, as soon as that uh, gold storage goes down, she steps up, ends up using the ability. Poison goes down to slow that queen's rate of fire, which is absolutely beautiful. Hits the ability, takes down that queen in two shots. Boom, boom, boom. Down goes the arch tower. Down goes the cannon. And then she's just going to continue her way up and around here. <clears throat> so up comes that clan castle. Uh, it was a dragon and a bunch of archers. So it kind of gets split up weird. So he's got to wait and wait and wait just until the CC gets pulled right over. Has that second poison and it's about to go down. So poison's going to go down right here. Take care of some of those archers. Really slow down that dragon. Keep in mind he's already used the uh, queen ability but has not used a rage yet. So this poison actually allows him to uh, not have to use a rage here which is freaking perfect because now he's got an extra rage in the bag think it was planned to use for that cc but he recognized he didn't need it so cold blooded or sorry the shattered entry is about to go in here golem one golem two going in just creating that funnel it's got to knock down the these outer buildings here and then he can open up this wall <clears throat> here come the wall breakers Ooh. Uh, really wants to take out this arch tower because he wants the wall breakers to go into the main section of base. So finally does that, and here come the wall breakers. Now they're going to be successful. Now that was a very scary moment because he only brought the, the four wall breakers. The test one went to the wrong wall, so he had to nail it with those three, and he absolutely does. Golems are in, so he sends that king in right behind. Jump spell number one goes down. Everything's just going to kind of work into this core now. Golems are doing nice tanking for that king. Even though the king does take uh, fire from that expo, rages it up. As take care of all those skellies. Hogs are now in. Goes very, very heavy from the 730 hogs. Immediate cleanup wizards in behind. I love that. <clears throat> so hogs are just going to work their way through this section. More reinforcement hogs coming in from 6 o'clock. Got to really push through this king chamber so he doesn't lose too many of that defensive king. Still has a heal in the bag and down it goes. Going to take care of all these hoggies working through this and boom. This is what I love. Remember that raid spell he never had to use on the queen? Heal spell goes down. Rage spell goes down. Look at these hogs do work under this rage. Just boom. Tesla. Or sorry, Wiz Tower. Tesla. See ya. See ya. Just ripping through this stuff under that rage. Look at this king go down. Boom. Few shots from those hogs. Down it goes. <clears throat> Even standing in there to rip through that town hall like nothing. It is clearly cleanup time. Very sexy tree kickbacks. Keep it up, buddy. Alrighty. Ah, oh, 15, Nightmare. 
Love this guy. Between Nightmare and Cash, I would say. I miss Gal. Yeah, we were talking about Cash the other day. I missed that guy. Um, they taught me almost everything I know about Govaho because um, they were doing it before Govaho was really, really a mainstream attack. Like that, this was quite some time ago. Cash used to just Valk everything, and this was before obviously the Valk buff. This was like we're talking like months and months and months ago. Um, so really the fundamentals of Govaho were laid down to myself at least from Cash and Nightmare because these guys really know what to do. Uh, so this little bit of a queen charge is going to be very successful here. Taking a lot of these defenses on this, this section. Going to pull out this CC now. Drag Loons come out. Raid Spell goes down. Help that queen out. Poison Spell goes down. Take care of those CC troops. Just going to rip through that dragon. Rip through those balloons like nothing. Down they go. And here comes the entry. So Cold Blooded Golem is in. Wizards go down, help start creating that funnel. Jump spell goes down, gonna let all this stuff right into this area here. Doesn't need to create a very large funnel because it leaves those two little breadcrumbs there. Look at that. Dark barracks and builder's hut. Doesn't matter if those buildings are up. When you can drop stuff right in front of touching buildings like that, you know your Valks are going to go straight into the base. Exactly what happens here. Second jump spell goes down. Basically a locking from all the way from this side to all the way over here. Uh, so really good jump placements. Hogs are now in surgically on a bunch of a few different defenses at a time here. Goes very heavy on this left side. I think uh, that was a good choice. He really wants to push the Valks up and into the core. Wants to push the King up into the core. Like you see them standing there on a wall, even though that jump spell is right there. That can happen sometimes with your Valks. See, look, boom. Look at these Valks standing on the wall. There's that jump spell. The King just took the jump spell. Golems just took the jump spell. Yet the Valks are standing on that wall. Just retarded. Happens sometimes though. You got to really try and manipulate the AI for the Valks. So you, uh, that's why he sent those hogs in so heavily there. Continue it pushing everything up into the core. But as you can see, the Expo is the last defense to go. Hogs are in on it and down it goes. Clean up time for Nightmare. <clears throat> it's a treat in the bag, my friend. Nice job. Beautiful. All right. So let's check out. Oh, some of the boys up top here, of course, Dirty Italian logging in a TH10 triple for us. Uh, so this is the newer Valk AI, and this is what it gets you. DI is getting really good using this attack. Um, generally, most of his attacks, I find him uh, bringing hogs on the back end, so maybe opting for um, a handful of less Valks and bringing, bringing a handful of hogs just to kind of push through, but not this time. DI just says, you know what? I'm bringing 18 Valkyries, gonna charge right, right up into this base, get really good value. So the wall is open up there. She just needs to finish off this stuff here. Pulls out that CC, does not have poison. So a little bit scary because all these wizards come out of the CC, um, but the queen handles it splendidly. Has to hit the ability, unfortunately, but um, when you don't bring a poison, I guess that's the risk you run. Uh, so Queen's now going to walk up and around into this chamber, this big L-shaped chamber. So she has all the time in the world to work on this stuff. Has to drop that next rage though very quickly. Good timing on that because look at that health. Oh, so close. But the rage spell goes down just in time. She's going to get healed right back up to full as soon as some of these defenses go down. Down goes that expo. Down goes that cannon. Now she is going to get healed up. The entry is now started. Bunch of giants are in. Do a little bit of tanking for these Valks. And here comes the Valk Parade. Just so many of them, right? They're going to get access right up to that Inferno Tower. Both these Inferno Towers, right? Via that Earthquake. So really good placement on that because look how quickly this stuff goes down. Giants go right to that and instantly both those Inferno Towers are down. Now this base is severely in trouble because he's got so many Valkyries in there. <clears throat> King's in there doing work. Giants are still in there helping out. Queen is still under the healers up there doing work. <clears throat> Drops the wizard and the minion to kind of help the queen out. Just move her along. Make sure that she meets up with these Valkyries here. Help them out against these last remaining defenses. There is this little section up top that really doesn't stand a chance as soon as this stuff goes down. <clears throat> boom, boom. Valks <laughs> bust through the wall. Valks are so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Nice tree star in the bag for Dirty Italian. Good job, my friend. Boom. All right, I got one more here for you. Good old Iceman. <clears throat> Going in against this very symmetrical base, but kind of a, I don't know if I've seen this base style for a Town Hall 10 before. Um, very, very interesting. Um, to say the least. Uh, so Earthquake goes down. Going to let 
a quite a large section of base open. The key to that is that it's opening up the compartment with both of the Inferno Towers. Um, so same style as DI here, other than uh, not bringing the Queen Walk, just opting for more Giants and more tanking power on the front end. So the idea here is he's going to send in this the Golems, kind of do the initial tanking, a crap ton of Giants in there to kind of soak up a bunch of those Inferno Towers, uh, and then just rage everything and just start blowing up this base from the inside out. <clears throat> so see these Valks just get right in there, free spell just so quickly under that rage, like boom, both the Inferno Towers are down, just demolish this wall like in a second, just rock through that lava wall like nothing. Um, that raid spell really getting good value for those Valks. They're in on a ton of defenses at this point. Queen's in there, still mopping up. Got to take care of this 12 o'clock compartment and then has to work on the bottom section of this base. All these giants trying to beat through this wall, but no big deal. <clears throat> Once that Tesla goes down, everything's going to reroute to the southern part of the base. Valk's standing on all these different walls. Like, you think they would join forces. Like, between the three of them standing there, they'd be like, hey, guys, let's all work on the same wall so that we can get through quicker and get to these same buildings that we're trying to get to instead of standing right beside each other working on different wall sections. Gotta love that. <laughs> Finally, one of them gets through the wall, so they all reroute. King and Queen are going to be in behind there. All these giants are still standing in there doing tanking work, which is absolutely fantastic because now these Valks and the King and Queen are going to get in range. And as soon as these guys all get in range, the Queen is just going to start work, finish things off. Keep in mind, ability has not been used on either of these heroes yet. Bam, 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 knocking everything down like a champ. Finally loses his last Valkyrie, I think, there. So the King is now taking all fire. Going to have to hit that ability here. There is one Valkyrie left there. My bad. Hit the ability. What are you waiting for? <clears throat> Sits up that ability. Going to knock through that wall with that Valk very, very quickly. So King's just going to walk in there, do some mop-up work. Queen finally takes down that Expo. And you can tell there's an Archer Tower, a Cannon, and an Air Defense to go. This base does not stand a chance. Get in there, Queen. Gonna pop that ability in one moment here. Finish this off. See you later. Or maybe swags the ability. No, there it goes. Tree in the bag for the Iceman. Nice job, my friend. Beautiful. <clears throat> so, Fantastic War, Ibrigante. It was a pleasure, guys. Um, you know, like I mentioned, you guys are making improvements every time I see you. Uh, seems like you're getting way more organized and uh, really starting to work on some of those three-star strats. Did not see many two-star attacks from you guys. Um, obviously, when you do three-star attacks, uh, it doesn't always result in a three-star. So that's kind of what we saw there. But it, it was really nice to see you guys uh, put forth a good effort. Some really nice base designs. And I'm not going to lie, you made us struggle. Um, it's very rare that we are going to miss that many Town Hall 9s. Um, but is what it is. So fantastic job to both sides. Uh, 2.0, love ya. Just uh, oh, we did miss a couple of attacks. That's right. We had a we had a, a mini account in the war, and the guy actually forgot his mini was in the war. So that's why we have 78 of 80, which is also a very rare occasion. But is what it is, guys. 2.0, nice job overall. Uh, just uh, working out the kinks, making sure we clean up the nines. We're in an arranged matchup right now with King Jeffrey. Uh, so in fact, that is where I'm going to go right after this and plan my hit. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I get a tree star here. <clears throat> so wish me luck, guys. But that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out. <laughs>